loves welcome back to my channel this is the announcement for the signs of the zodiac crochet along we are first starting with Aquarius and I know that Aquarius isn't the first sign in the astro astrological sense because you're supposed to start with Aries technically but Aquarius is my hubby's sign and it is the new year and we're going to start there because I want to Aquarius starts January 20th and ends February 18th and all the colors of blue. So we are going to be doing a scarf in all of the colors of blue for Aquarius and we're going to make it nice and wavy just like water because Aquarius is the water bearer sign. And so let's bring you down to the workspace and we will get started on our Aquarius scarf. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hello loves. So for this Aquarius scarf, we are going to be doing the chevron stitch and we're going to be doing it long ways so that it looks like water. We're going to be using Big Twist Cerulean Blue. That's this one here. And then we are going to be using also Big Twist Varsity Blue. That's this one here. That is four weight worsted yarn going to be using a six millimeter J hook and if you need stitch markers go ahead and grab those and you will need your scissors and so let's go ahead and start with the cerulean blue we need to do a chain of 167 it needs to be in multiples of 11 plus 2 so we're going to do a really long chain at the beginning here so let's go ahead and start by chaining 167. Once you get that done, meet me back and we'll get started. Okay, loves, we are back with 167 chains, the gold long chain. So we're going to start this repeat here. In the corners, you always want to do two half double crochets, not in the corners, I guess, in the ends, two half double crochets into the end. So we yarn over, let's skip that first, make sure that we're not twisted here. Skip that first one, go into the second with a half double crochet, so yarn over, go into the stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. We want to do two half double crochets into the end of each one of these rows. Okay. Next, we're going to do a half double crochet in the next four stitches. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do that three more times. One. Two. And three. Okay, now we're going to skip two stitches and do a half double crochet into the next. So one, two, half double crochet into this third. We want to do three more half double crochets. One in each stitch. One. Two. and three. So what we've just done is a little bit of a valley here. So we've got four half double crochets, skip two, four half double crochets. Now we're going to make the peak. So that's going to be three half double crochets in the same stitch. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. We want to do this three times in the same stitch. And there's our third. And then we do half double crochets in the next four stitches. Two. Three. And four. So now 
let's take a look here. We've done a valley and a peak. Now we're back down. We're going to do another valley. We're going to skip two and half double crochet into the third. So one, two, half double crochet here. Make sure you're not splitting your yarn though. Pull up that loop. Okay. So four half double crochets, one in each of the next four stitches. Two. Three. And four. We need to do another peak. So three half double crochets into the same stitch. And then back down the mountain with four half double crochets, one in each stitch. And four. Okay, so that is your complete repeat. So you want to do four half double crochets, skip two, four half double crochets, three half double crochets in the same stitch, four half double crochets. All the way until the very, 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 very end. This is a big old beautiful long chain. When you get to the very, very end, we wanna do two half double crochets into that last stitch. And I will meet you when we get there. Have fun. Okay, love, so we're just about to finish row one. We did a skip two here at the end, we've got two double half double crochets here. One stitch left, we're going to do two half double crochets into this last stitch right here. One and two. Row two, we're going to chain one and we're going to flip our work over just like that. We're gonna do two half double crochets into this first stitch right here. One and two and then we are going to repeat exactly the same so we're going to do four half double crochets one two and one more one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're at the skip point. So we skip these two stitches and go into this third one here. If it's easier for you to count from the peak of the valley or the mountain, you can definitely do that too. So that's your peak that needs the three. So count one, two, three, four. That way you know exactly where it is that you need to put in your first half double crochet after the skip. That's one. Two, three, and four. We're at the top of the mountain. We're going to do three double cro three half double crochets into this peak. One, two, and three. And then back down the mountain with four half double crochets in one in each stitch. There's two, three, and four. And we skip these two stitches here, go into that third if you need to count. One, two, three, or excuse me, one, two, three, four. Is that your fourth stitch right there? So you're skipping your two, going into this half double crochet right there. And four more half double crochets until we get to that peak. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. One, two, three, one more. And then three half double crochets into the peak. One, 
two, and three. So you're just going to repeat that pattern over and over again until you get back to the end over here again. And that last one, you want to do two half double crochets into the last stitch, just as we did before. Let's go ahead and finish this row, and I will meet you back. Have fun! Okay, loves, we are back at the end of row two. We're going to do the last two half double crochets into this last stitch. There's one and two. And so this third row is going to be the last color of the light blue that we're doing. So we're going to chain one and turn and repeat all of the same exact as before on row three. So let's do two half double crochets into this stitch. Two. Okay, and then back down into the valley. One, two. So let's go ahead and count now that we're getting close to the valley. This is our peak here. We want one, two, three, four. We've got two chains here. We want to skip those and go into the third with a half double crochet. And then almost back up at the top there we go so three half double crochets into the same stitch one two and three exact same pattern all the way along back down the valley skip two chains up four Three double cro half double crochets into the peak all the way back down to complete row three and I will meet you at the end have fun all right we are back at the end of row three we're just about to do our two half double crochets into this last stitch but we're not going to complete the last one fully so let's start that first half double crochet and then start the second one like this we're going to grab our second color make a loop put that on our hook snug it down a bit more there we go and now pull this darker blue through all three of these loops there now you've just changed colors let's go ahead and chain one and we turn our work so now you've got that darker blue color on your hook now, and you do just the exact as before. Two double crochets, half double crochets, sorry. One and two. And then two more double crochets, three. And four. Skip two, half double crochet into that third. Let's double check our thing here. So that's the peak. One, two, three, four. Oh, so at the end we've fudged it again somewhere. So don't worry about that. It's art. Have fun with it. And four. And we're at our peak three half double crochets into the peak one two and three and then four more half double crochets back down the mountain one two three and four. Skip two, half double crochet into that third. One, two, three, and four. 
three half double crochets into the peak of the first of that one stitch. Two and three. So this is going to be three more rows of the dark blue. And then once you get down to the end of the three rows of dark blue, I will meet you back. Have fun. Okay, we are back with the three rows of dark blue. We're almost finished. We just need to do the two half double crochets into the last stitch here. So that's one. And then let's not finish this half double crochet. We're going to change colors back to that light blue. So we're gonna grab that. Make us a loop. Put that on our hook. All right, and then let's pull through all three of those. Drop that tail. Chain one. And then we can go ahead and turn our work. Flip it. There we go. All right, so now we're going to do exactly the same three more rows of the four half double crochets, skip two chains, four half double crochets, three half double crochets in the top stitch, all the way until the end for three more rows, and I'll see you when we finish. All right, so we are at the end of row three for the second round of three rounds of rows of light blue. So we're gonna finish the last two half double crochets and this is going to complete the scarf all together. So you can go ahead and finish that last double crochet. Give it a little bit of a snug. Grab your scissors, snip, and then pull that all the way through. And now we are complete. We can go ahead and tie in our ends. I don't seem to have a darning needle with me. So you'll just have to know that I will be doing that off camera. But this is our beautiful Aquarius scarf. Yes, it is a bit thinner than a traditional scarf, but my hubby doesn't like to have a lot of things around his neck. And this is for him since he is an Aquarian. So that is what I have for you. Thank you so, so very much for sticking with me on our very first Zodiac Signs Crochet Along. I hope you stick around for more and to stay tuned for all the other things that I do have planned. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Love you. Bye.